G'day folks, welcome back to the channel, Land of Bay Fishing, I'm Wayne Grooms. Today is a tutorial on how to pump yabbies. It's not just how to pump yabbies, it'll be the gear we use, how to pump yabbies, and the sort of fish you'll catch with yabbies. Now I hesitate to say this, but location as well, I'm at Banksia Beach today at Bravi Island. The location is irrelevant, what you're looking for is any beach that has yabby holes and you'll be able to do the same thing and probably catch very similar fish. Been joined by a mate of mine who's got a tackle shop just up the road. It's a fairly new tackle shop. Before we start, I'll introduce you Danny Dawes. Land of Bay Fishing, there's Danny Dawes. Danny's going to tell us how to catch yabbies, what to look for in a bank, where to go on the bank, because as you can see, the bank is massive. Whereabouts do you go to catch yabbies? Yabby holes is a good clue, but if you want to catch lots quick, that's what Danny's here for. Yeah. How do we catch yabby standing? So basically walk along the flats here. Um, you want the, the sand to be fairly firm and look for the little yabby holes. So once you come across a good bunch, you look for a, a patch of like four or five together and start pumping and usually you get a few. All right, so color of the sand? Um, color of the sand doesn't matter too much. Um, it's more in the darker bits here. Um, you don't get any, any up high there out of the tidal zone. So normally, Danny, when I come down, I look for these water traps. Yep, the drain. And I, yeah. I, I fish either, or I yabby either side of the drain. Yep. That seems to work for me. What about you? Yeah, no, that's a really good option as well. Um, there's plenty along this drain here, and there's another drain a little bit further up as well. Cool, cool. Mm. That's yabbies. Um, what's the address? Uh, it's shop 4, number 25, Sunderland Drive. How long have you been there? Uh, only about two months now. Going yeah. Right? yeah good really good we've got good quality fresh bait um is this live worms that's not what no, it's called that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> live worms as well okay yeah. and and what's it called uh island fishing supplies and that's bribey island yeah just up the road from banksia beach so that's it from danny thank you very much for the tips yep, i really do no appreciate worries. it thanks wayne and i'll come up to the bait shop and have a look yeah. a little bit later awesome so the equipment we're using today is just a bucket and the Yabby Pump. The Yabby Pump's there. This one here is a stainless steel bait pump by Force 10. Now, go to any bait shop, you'll get Wilson's, LV's, Force 10. This is an old one. Don't even know if they make these anymore. But once you get one, you can change the washers on them quite simply and it'll last your lifetime. Just got to change that washer every now and then. We hold the wing nut and just screw the lever around at the end. And then you'll feel the wing nut come off. There we have it, little wing nut. Yeah. Oh, there's the, uh, well this is one I've had sitting around for a while. That you get a little wire brush, stick down the pot, and you just get the old rubber out. And uh, throw that little in down the tube, just so it's behind the washer. Just put the washer on, your first washer. So throw that in there. Now there's a little nut on the shaft there that stops it going any further down than it needs to. This goes in next. Another new washer. Last but not least, the wing nut. Just been down to the water and got some salt water in my bucket. The buckets I use, I use two buckets at a time. I use a bucket for the water and then I use a bucket with holes. You can see the holes there. Now when I put the yabbies in there, I can drop that in. The yabbies are in nice fresh water. When I need to change the yabbies, the bucket comes out, change the water, the bucket goes back in with the yabbies, and I don't have to tip bucket, tip, muck around with the yabbies and tip them out and all that sort of thing. So two buckets, bucket with holes, bucket for the water, bucket slides in a bucket, they'll keep your yabbies fresh. Now if you need to keep the yabbies for longer than one session, and you don't want to continually change the water, 
you'll need to keep them in something like a sawdust. So drain them, put them in the sawdust, they'll stay fresher and alive a lot longer, possibly into the next session. Apart from that, you can blanch yabbies. So if you want to keep them, freeze them. You blanch them, so bring up the water to a boil. You throw your yabbies in for about 20 seconds. As soon as the yabbies float to the top, you pull them out, dry them off really well, and then put them in uh, uh, some sort of heat shrink bag and into the freezer. Or into sawdust and into the freezer, preferably if you've got sawdust. This is your plunger. It strokes pretty much the full length of this pipe. The end of this plunger on this side is a rubber grommet and if you hear, you'll hear the breeze. Sucks on the way up, blows on the way down. So you're sucking the yabbies up out of the hole and you're blowing them back out beside the hole for you to look at. And that there is just a handle so you've got some security over the pump while you're actually pumping the yabbies. As you can see I was pumping before about a 40 30 to 45 degree angle on the pump about a 30 to 45 degree angle on the pump and the pull back you're sucking up everything that's under the mud and then you lift it out of the hole spray it on top that's when you're looking for your yabbies and you repeat that process in each hole four or five times until you know there's no yabbies in that hole and you move on so there are the three I've got just playing around behind me here put the other one back it's a bit lively you can see the small nippers and I leave them all together one per hook and you'll catch whiting all day long on them or better still all night long this little patch here is pretty good I always get yabbies down yeah here. this is where I get my yabbies from every time yeah just uh seems to be a little gold mine for them it doesn't it fishes well too whiting yeah I don't mind fishing here for whiting what sort of um night time though just night time with yabbies Sorry? Not daytime you'll catch a few, but, but uh, yeah, get get a bucket of yabbies and stay here for the making tide and Bank, you fish yeah. the actual banks at night time. Sort of yeah. so. big sink a really long trace. So as long as you if you've got a 10, 11 foot rod and you can fish an eight foot trace, big sinker, so yeah. it sinker plants itself, and eight foot just lets it waft so that the whiting won't notice a sinker. Uh, you don't want a short trace with a big sinker so yeah it fishes really well okay. making tide last three hours of the tides are best but at night it's, it's night time yeah, yeah. <coughs> i uh personally am a i've got the time right now just put a line in the water sort of well day daytime you'll catch whiting there's no ifs but some maybe's caught plenty of whiting in the daytime yeah. but just night time's way better yeah are they on the are they on right now. Whiting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yep. Might come down tonight actually. Bank there. I'm gonna get a yabby and put it on a hook. There's a couple of different ways I put yabbies on. Generally speaking, if the fish are biting really well, you only need one yabby. You can see how it's got little creases in its tail. The second or the third crease down, just through once. And that's it. That's all you need. Hopefully the warning comes along, sucks that straight down, takes the hook in with it. You can do it a few different ways. Through the tail once, take it through, through the tail twice, slide it up the tail third time then it sits down the shank of the bait keeper another way and this is my uncle's favorite way you put it straight down like you would a, a dead prawn from a bait shop and then you turn the yabby at the end to put it through the back of the tail not the head you don't want to kill it another way load them up just load up three two to three yabbies on a hook when the brim are big and there's lots of whiting around or even flathead that's what you want to do So you fill the uh, clean water into the uh, bottom bucket, throw the top bucket on, and there are your yabbies. Fresh water. 
first inquiry. It's a good inquiry by the look of it. We're using four pound line today, got a little 1500 Stratic. Actually, it's 2500 Stratic, four pound fluorocarbon all the way through. Number one hook, triple O sinker. I'm using the triple O sinker because of the wind. You can just see I'm getting a few touches here. I want to wait till the actual fish takes the bait. It hasn't yet. It's getting closer. And there it is. And we're on. It feels like a little whiting. I'm pretty sure it's a whiting. It's just starting to splash there in the... Yep, nice little whiting. Probably around that 26 centimeter mark. Thereabouts, just legal. And uh, that's how easy it can be. Let the yabbies go and see whether or not they get picked up with birds before they can bury themselves. Brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that big thumbs up for me if you got something out of the video. And if you want to support the channel, Patreon link below. You can shout me a coffee. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Slim pickings this morning. I mean, I've got a few more than that at this time. Someone will let me. Just see that soon.